I'm an addict for sneakers. What's good? What's good? Back up in the building. It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new sneaker meteorologist report on the Air Jordan Fear 5 4 3 pack right here that will be releasing this weekend. Will you be picking it up? I want to know. Leave your comments in the box, but don't leave your comments yet because we're going to discuss the whole pack as far as releasing, how it's going down. Basically, a lot of people keep asking me, so that's why I always do these sneaker meteorologist reports. The way it goes down with these shoes for most retailers, you got to go get your raffle ticket today, tomorrow, may have been yesterday, depending on the shop, the location, where you at. So I recommend you get in on the phone, calling up your local retailers, finding out who got what. Now, as far as the prices on the shoe, I decided to call Foot Locker right before pressing record. And they told me it is 175 for the threes and the fours, and 160 for the fives. A little weird, I don't get it. What are you gonna do? They make the prices, we're the customers, they do what they wanna do. Nike, Jordan brand, that's what they wanna charge, that's what they're gonna charge. I don't understand that though, why a three and a four is gonna cost more than a five. They should all cost the same price, but hey, it is what it is. I also hear that the four will be available in grade school. The three and the five will not be available in grade school. Clearly the three and the five is gonna be more limited shoe. As far as my opinion on the shoes, I think they're very nice. All of them are very nice, but do I really need another olive shoe? That's my question I ask myself. I like the five, the three, there is something about the three I really like. I got my eye on that three. The four is dope. Black, white with that fade, sick. I love that. But do I need another black and white shoe? I got to see it in person. If I like it in person, I'm going to go for the four. The three, I'm on my way to go get my raffle ticket right now. We'll see if I get it. If I get it good. If I don't, I won't be upset about it. Because there's so many shoes releasing this year. And it's getting crazy to the point where it's like... I gotta pick and choose right now. I mean, I got a lot of shoes and I can't just keep buying shoes. The more shoes I buy, the more I have to like force myself to get rid of shoes that I may not want to get rid of just because of the fact of not finance, but space. Leave your opinions on the shoes. Make sure to come back on release date to this video. Leave a comment, let us know how you got the shoe. Did you get the shoe? Did you fail? Hopefully you didn't fail. Hopefully you're able to get the shoe. I hope everyone gets the shoe that wants the shoe. Make sure to check out my blog, thesneakerettic.com. Morning, noon, and night like clockwork. Also catch up on all the videos. I've done about three or four early release shoes. I showed you guys a new Deion Sanders Diamond Turf in the Atlanta Braves colorway sick shoe. Gotta see that one. I did a review on the Weatherman phone posit. Gotta see that one. And I did one on the Bel Air 5. So I'll put links in the description box so you could just go right to the description box and pick and choose what you want to watch. Make sure to check out my blog, thesneakeratic.com, morning, noon, and night like clockwork. And I'll be back really soon. I got stuff um in front of me. I'm not about to, you know, run and do that. That's just crazy DJ right there. Dell. So I'm out. The sneakeratic.com my spizz out, DJ Dell's TV, in flex we trust, now it's a must, I keep a fresh pair and they never scuff.